welcome back doing another video here and today I decided to do the Netherlands battle cruiser of uh, late 1930s 1940 early 1940s uh, the battle cruiser 1047 it does have a very German design no German they, they did look towards Germany for the design of the ship so it, I'm just going to take a quick look at this one. Nope. That's the light cruiser hole. It says light cruiser right there. The one thing I don't like about this is the fact that the secondary tower does not fit. They all both have that barbette right there, which actually makes things harder. Only one spot. And it did have nine 11 inch guns. Uh, supposedly in triple turrets. See how this works. Move it a little bit forward than there. And I wish this design right here was down here at the five inch, because it had four point uh, seven. So I kind of am rounding up. It did have twelve. It had kind of more like a uh, Scharnhorst. Let's see. I think I could fit one in there somewhere. Yeah, right there. And it had no two, no four twins and four singles. A bit like that right there. It was a 33 knot ship according to stats that I could find, gear turbines. Uh, I don't know if it was double or not. Go with it. Go with the turbo electric machinery. It was supposed to be designed with the uh, wartime propellers already. I didn't realize that actually was a thing until I read that. I was like, oh, okay. I think it had just standard double. Yeah, if I recall correctly, no, it was designed more for a, uh, the, to protect it. So they're at the assets in the Pacific against Japanese aggression, but they were never, never really made it outside of the uh, design phase. I'll give it a radar just in case. And the armor is uh, speculative. Now there's no. This is what it had. Type thing. Four, oh, 47. Hit two numbers. The cunning tower was 5.9. Kind of a weak cunning tower, I thought. But that's what I saw, so that's what it shall receive. Okay. There we go. And let's uh, take it into battle. See how it does. I'm doing it. No, I think they they kind of want it as a cruiser killer, so I'm giving it with a light cruiser because Netherlands really didn't have heavy cruisers. No, against a Japanese heavy cruiser, a couple of light cruisers. I should have the uh, advantage in uh, heavy guns. What do we have here? Well, that's a strange looking design right there. That's 
it's really healing over for this turn. Hard turn. Let's see. Am I in range? Yep. Let's see what's my light cruiser like. Seven inch guns. And the computer's already smoked. Interesting. Twin turrets. Probably seven inch guns. Man, looks like it's really bow heavy or something. The bow's going way under. What type of weather do we have? Moderate waves. Yeah, I've already begun firing at long distance. There for a second, the propellers came out of the water. Oh, nope, not quite. That would have been weird. So far, no hits, and he's returning fire. The BC Star. Let's see what's its nine inch guns. So a bit heavier than what a normal Japanese cruiser would have. Uh, 12, 12, uh, yeah. Well, usually they, they would have like five twin turrets, so I can give it a pass on that. What are the light cruisers? I don't know, to me they look more like a destroyer. I did hit light cruisers, right? Man, that really looks like a destroyer. Got torpedo tubes. Does this have torpedo tubes? If it's got torpedo tubes, they're underwater, so... And he's already hit me twice. Wish that was not there. Would have made the design so much easier. Or so much nicer. I should say. Still hitting me. Meanwhile, his light cruisers are going straight on in. Let's see, it's going 36 nuts. Hmm. Maybe broadside like this won't be too bad. I uh, took, gave another hit. I see they changed targets here to the light cruiser. Saw something over there. Yeah, take evasive action, computer. And seven hits for eighteen. Where's my light cruiser? Cruiser's turning around here. 
And if the light cruiser is not What are you doing, light cruiser? I don't know why you did that. Let's see. Well, I've managed to hit the destroyer here. It's got five inch guns. <coughs> Taking a beating. With those 11 inch hits. Maximum bulkheads. Oh, there went some torpedoes. Now I'm gonna make a turn around here. Uh, the cruiser. Cruisers, uh, that one, both of them have been hit. There's more flooding. Come on. Let's see. Heading around, turning around. Light cruisers turning around, I think. Light cruiser sunk. And it took uh, took some hits. The other light cruiser's taken damage. Come on, I need another flood in on this one. I saw a torpedo coming, I thought. Yeah, it looks like they're taking evasive action again. Oi! Did it... Did it miss? How... I mean, not gonna complain, but it sure looked like a hit was coming. And well, all three, all three are out. Always looks kind of weird when it's not going very fast and it's just kind of turning in circles. Which technically a ship wouldn't do in real life. No, just spin in circles. No, there's more flooding. Ooh, maybe it'll be enough. Uh, down to down. Uh, there it goes. However, I've now been hit with a nine inch gun. Oh no, I did, it did, a d torpedo did hit. It just didn't do much damage. It didn't even do any flooding. That's why I was really confused. I've seen shell hits do better than that. So it's turning out to be a cruiser killer. I will admit, first time I ever saw this, uh, that Netherlands was going to do a battle cruiser, I was like, cool. Looked it up and 
been kind of interesting ever since. I think it was a bit r unrealistic given the circumstances, political climate. It, if they were wanted to do one, they really needed to do it oh, about five years before they did. You know, about mid early 1930s because really by the time they got around to doing it war was almost upon them and really aside from the US there were not many uh, nations that were able to design build and complete large ships no capital ships And even with the U.S. now, just about every battleship they built had been uh, under construction for a couple of years by the time they entered the war. The carriers, you know, they, they were prioritized, so you know, many of them were... You know, there, there were several that were built during the war. A couple were designed... Uh, the midway class. But you know, you look at it Bismarck, Yamato, uh, French, Italians, British, all their main, main capital ships, they were all being built before the war war even started and the, the range is just coming down pounding each other now then 6.7 flooding we've got some good flooding mini bulkheads type of armor ah. A bit better cunning tower than mine. But there it went. It sank. So it lives up to the name of Cruiser Killer. <laughs> Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Keep your guns blazing. Damn the torpedoes and I'll see you at Davy Jones Locker.